Jamal LaSalle's, Carl Darlow, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Hello Newcastle fans, TV. what a busy day here, we expected it to be busy here, didn't we? Um, just literally finished work in the green building behind us and haven't had the chance to get the video out there because obviously the being at work and the carry on with obviously uh, all the goings on at Sky and so on. But uh, Javier Monquillo has signed for Newcastle, uh, it's been a good three or four days since we've been waiting for the announcement for the club. He becomes Rafa Benitez's fourth signing of the summer for an undisclosed fee for the 23-year-olds, rumoured to be somewhere between approximately around about four million on a three-year deal. Now he's had loan spells as we know, not so much great loan spells at Liverpool, Marseille and Sunderland. Still relatively quite young, you know, 23 years old. I know he's been quite heavily criticised and Sunderland fans take the mickey out of her and also Newcastle fans uh, some of these are not very keen on him but the thing what you've got to try and look positive is that we, we think that DeAndre Yedlin will become will be first choice right back he'll make that his own and then you've got to look at like we think Jamie Sterry will probably go out and loan he's a scammer he's, he's injury crisis isn't he but the thing is about Mankilo is he can play left or right predominantly right though um, Let's have a look at what he said about joining the club, first of all. So he said, I'm very happy to be here. From the first moment that Rafa Benitez called me, I just knew that I had to come to be here. Such a big club. I'm very happy with the challenge ahead. I've come here to work hard and give everything on and off the pitch. Hopefully, then everything will go right in, in the right direction. So he's also cheekily said that he's joined the biggest northeast club, <laughs> which is a bit ironic considering he played at Sunderland. So a slight dig at Sunderland fans. I think that's because of the criticism that he's been receiving. And remember, he's also admitted that he lives in the city centre, which is no massive surprise because a lot of Sunderland fans live, Sunderland players, sorry, live in Newcastle as well because the quality of life is greater. Um, <laughs> anyways, what uh, Rafa Benitez has turned around and said. Like Jacob Murphy, Mankilo is another young player. He can play at both sides of the defence and he has a lot of motivation because he knows he has a point to prove. He can still improve but he's but he because he because he has played for Spain at under twenty one level and that is because he's a good player. So hopefully we'll show that form here. So as I mentioned that was um a slight dig at Sunderland fans because obviously they're having a go at us signing all their reject players and all this kind of stuff. But you know, as I mentioned, I think you'll be used more of a squad player. I don't think you'll come into the side. Is it an upgrade? No, you have to say it's not because Vernon and Ian in the right back position. He is the better player in my eyes. Are you going to question Rafa's signings? Well, you know, you can always criticise one or two, but, but predominantly he's got most of them correct here in Newcastle. Um, obviously, he's, got, he's let uh, Darrell Murphy go as well, which we'll come on to uh, in a second as well. But just coming off that, we want to know what you think about that. Is it an upgrade? Or what's the story with Vernon Nita? Because rumours has it that Vernon Nita was on 40 grand a week. And is he the better option to keep up the club? Personally, I do feel that. But you've got to give Mankilo a chance. You cannot just write him off because he's a sign. And the same as like, I know Matt Sells didn't really turn out great, but you had to get behind Matt Sells at the start of last season. And yes, he came through and we knew that he wasn't the, the goalkeeper that he was and you've got to get behind him there's no point criticising him let's get behind the lads the club also have confirmed today that Sean Longstaff who follows us on Twitter hello Sean if you're watching um, he's joined Blackpool he's going to head over to Gary Boyer's team uh, who got promotion from League 2 last season a little bit surprised I thought he might go a little bit higher into the championship but you know he's joined there until January the lad needs game time. He's a quality footballer. He scores. He scored against Darlington the other day. Scores goals. He got 10 in the under-23s before he was loaned out with Kilmarnock. Scored for Kilmarnock. I think he scored a couple of goals, actually, when he was up there in the Scottish Premier League. So it's a good move for him, for Sean Longstaff. The future is bright for him. Obviously, his brother, Matty Longstaff, is out at Newcastle as well. His dad's a famous hockey player. So sport runs through their veins. And good luck to him. We'll be doing a report on him here and there because I think he's a talented individual. Gary Boyer has actually been speaking about Sean Longstaff. This is what he's actually turned around and said. Sean is another exciting addition to the squad and I'm delighted that Newcastle have allowed him to further his development with us. He's someone who we made a big impression with Kilmarnock up in Scotland last season and highlight his cap capabilities once again in a pre-season run out of Darlington the other night. He's very good on the ball and I'm sure he'll contribute his fair shares of goals and assists. So, you know, Gary Boyer speaking up big, big up, big up to him. Good luck to Sean Longstaff. I hope he does really well there. Now, obviously, the big news heading out the door today was obviously the Darrell Murphy who's left the club, which was going to happen, you know. It broke out on Thursday night Sky behind us and also the Chronicle who HQ are down by the big market or the gold market. Um, so Darrell Murphy leaves Nottingham Forest on a massive three-year deal. Though. That is huge. That is absolutely massive. Three-year deal to go to Nottingham Forest for, th for a guy who's just turned 34. What a, what a transfer that is for Darren Murphy. 
um, because he's going to get a three-year contract. It's kind of similar to like Jermaine Defoe's got that long deal. You know, he scored six goals in 18 games, one and three. He was on great great form between January and April. You know where he was scoring that them goals. Had a good spell in the first team. He was keeping Mitrovic on the bench whilst Dwight Gale was out injured. And to be honest with you, last season out with Mitrovic and Dowell Murphy, Murphy without shadow of doubt the better player last season. But going into the Premier League, Rafa has already hinted on earlier on that he uh, wants to listen to offers and uh, Dal Murphy said it when he was on Ireland in international duty that the club are listening to offers and good luck to him he's a good solid pro Nottingham Forest fans if you're watching you've got a good player there keep him fit he will get you up into the playoffs without shadow. he will score goals in this division I was I was very critical of him last season but when we signed him I'm absolutely over the moon for him so good luck to um, to Dal Murphy he'll go and replace Britt Osambalonga who's joined Millsborough as well just quickly touching off that, I just want to talk about the road closures. Um, we've seen a couple of media crews uh, when I was at work earlier on the day. Uh, the BBC have been uh, reporting. Uh, they had the, the chief in, uh, inspector, independent, or whatever, whoever they are, part of the police. And Newcastle are now going to be closing the roads here on match day, which I think is a genuinely a good thing. I know we've had the terrorism tax in like Manchester. Uh, we had it in Glasgow a few years back, London, uh, across Europe as well. Not just, not just, you can hear the ambulance. It's always happens when I record. Not just terrorism, I think it's just genuinely speaking, cars kind of get past in crowd the crowd just walk in front and i don't think it's very good for people in the inside the car and outside so closing the strawberry place behind us and also the leases the leases area over there is a, is a good thing i generally think it's a good thing but more importantly we want to know what you think of the transfers as well if you want to get more reaction of course get over to our facebook and twitter pages as well thanks for watching as ever and we'll see you later